ஹை டு ஆல் டே ஐ எம் ஏ டாக்டர் ஏ திவ்யா அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் கேஎஸ்ஆர் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஆர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் ஃபார் உமன் திருச்செங்கோடு டுடே வி கோ கோ டு டிஸ்கஸ் த டாபிக் டேட்டா ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் அண்ட் அல்காரதம்ஸ் டேட்டா ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் ஏ டேட்டா ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் இஸ் எ ஸ்டோரேஜ் தட் இஸ் யூஸ் டு ஸ்டோர் அண்ட் ஆர்கனைஸ் டேட்டா இட் இஸ் எ வே ஆஃப் ஆர்கனைசிங் டேட்டா ஆன் ஏ கம்ப்யூட்டர் so that it can be accessed and updated efficiently a data structure is not only used for organizing the data it is also used for processing retrieving and storing data classification of data structures uh, data structure is uh, categorized into two types linear data structure non linear data structure in linear data structure is again classified into two types static data structures dynamic data structures non linear data structure is classified into two types tree and graph in static data structure is again classified into array data dynamic data structure is further classified into queue stack linked list linear data structure data structure in which the data elements are arranged sequentially or linearly where each element is attached to its previous and the next adjacent elements is called a linear data structure example of linear data structures are array stack queue linked list etc the static data structure the static data structure has a fixed memory size it is easier to access the elements in a static data structure an example of the data structure is an array dynamic data structure in dynamic data structure the size is not fixed it can be randomly updated during the run time which may be considered efficient concurring the memory space complexity of the code example of these data types are queue etc non linear data structure data structure where data elements are not placed sequentially or linearly are called non linear data structures in non linear data structure we cannot transfer all the elements in a single run only example of non linear data structures are trees and graphs data structures using array an array is a linear data structure which is a finite collection of similar data items stored in successive or constitutive memory location For example an array may contain all the integer or character elements but not both Each array can be accessed by using array index and it must be positive integer value enclosed in a square braces This is start from the numerical value 0 and end with the less than 1 of the array index value For example an array of n containing n number of elements are denoted by the array of 0 array of 1 array of n minus 1 where 0 is called lower bound and n minus 1 is called the higher bound of array types of array array can be classified into three types they are one dimensional array two dimensional array three dimensional array one dimensional array one dimensional array is also called as a linear array it is also represented 1d array one dimensional array stores the data elements in a single row or column The syntax to declare a linear array is as follows data type array name size two dimensional array the two dimensional array is a collection of elements placed in row and columns the syntax is to declare two dimensional array includes two subscripts of which one of specify the number of rows and another specify the number of columns the syntax to declare, declare the two dimensional array is follows data type array name row size column size the syntax to initialize the two dimensional array is data type array name row size column size equal to values three dimensional array and three dim- then three dimensional array ha- array has two or more subscript that the type of array is called multi dimensional arrays the 3d array is called the multi dimensional array this can be thought as the array of two dimensional array each element of the 3d array is accessed using subscript one for each dimension the syntax for the declaration and initialization as follows data type array name size 1 size 2 size 3 equal to values thank you